Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video, let's talk about MediaTek's new chipset that is known as MediaTek's Diamond City 1000. And if you guys, if you recall, MediaTek has been releasing a lot of mid-range uh, mid chipsets, but this new MediaTek uh, Diamond City uh, chipset is a, a new chipset, which is actually a flagship chipset, but uh, this also has the first 5G mobile uh, SOC uh, integrated. That means a 5G modem is integrated in the chipset. So very interesting move by MediaTek and uh, let's go over it and as you can see this image this gives you a broad overview about the chipset what it does but let's get uh, down to it and first let's break down the chipset again it's an octa core chipset guys and uh, again it has four powerful cores and four power efficient cores the powerful cores are actually based on a uh, 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 most powerful ARM Cortex A77 and they can be clocked up to 2.6 gigahertz and whereas the other four cores which are the power efficient are the ARM Cortex A55 and uh, apart from this again a uh, GPU is also very important uh, thing about the chipset and this one has the latest uh, Mali G77 GPU which is actually having a nine core GPU if you guys recall uh, the last MediaTek chipset that was the mid-range G90T was based on the media uh, uh, ARM uh, what do you say uh, Mali G76 uh, but this is based on the G77 and it's a nine core chipset. So the graphic performance should be actually really, really good on this one. And uh, this SOC can support up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and it can support the new uh, DDR4X uh, RAM, not the regular DDR4, but the DDR4X, which is even uh, better for uh, high speeds. Um, now, uh, as it's a MediaTek chipset, again, you know, they do a lot of work on AI and stuff. So here also we have uh, the AI uh, co processor but now it's actually a hexa core AI processor and a MediaTek likes to call this the APU 3 uh, which has enhanced AI operations and stuff and they say that it can boost the performance up to 4.5 teraflops per second uh, so again a huge improvement now let's now talk about the 5g modem uh, which is the main thing about this one and this works on the sub 6 gigahertz uh, uh, modem and this also has carrier aggregation even for 5g so it can uh, actually combine multiple 5g connections for very high speed connections and according to media type uh, it can deliver up to 4.7 gigabytes of performance on 5g and also it's backward uh, compatible from uh, 2g to 5g so that's also a very interesting thing and uh, also a media tech claims that this is also very power efficient uh, chipset because the 5g modem is actually within the chip itself it's not a separate part like many other vendors are doing it's embedded in the chip hence uh, uh, it is actually way more efficient than other 5g chipsets and also can operate at a lot uh, faster speeds to provide that great 5g experience and uh, this is a uh, very interesting again you know most of the mediatek chipsets do support that uh, dual sim functionality but according to mediatek this uh, uh, diamond 30 uh, thousand is the first uh, soc in the world that supports dual 5g uh, so you do have that dual 5g functionality and it also uh, supports uh, uh, you know, the features like uh, vonr that is uh, voice over new radio or voice over 5g that we call so those all protocols are supported now coming to other connectivity uh, the chipset built-in has support for the new wi-fi 6 which can provide speeds up to one gigabit and also the new uh, bluetooth 5.1 support is integrated in the chipset also and uh, fm support is also there on the chipset now let's also talk about the camera because camera is also a very important part of the chipset and according to MediaTek, uh, this uh, Diamond City 1000 SoC actually has a new 5 core ISP. That's the image signaling process. Generally, we find 1 core, 2 core, but this one actually has 5 core. And again, they have divided it between 3 big cores and 2 small cores, thereby dividing the work for more efficiency. And uh, it can also support cameras up to 80 megapixel. So again, very good. And another good uh, thing is that this is something new. They say that uh, this chipset has real-time recording uh, for multi exposure 4k hdr so it actually captures according to them 
short, medium and long exposures for each frame when you're shooting video for that great uh, 4K HDR experience. Uh, and uh, they also showed some benchmarks. I got the info about it as you can see on the screen. If you look at it, uh, the Antutu score is 5,11,363. So insane. And again, here are the Geech uh, Bench uh, scores. So certainly some mind boggling figures that we are getting with this one. So this is a, a general overview of this one. Uh, can't uh, wait to see when we'll see smartphones with uh, this one again mediatek hasn't announced any uh, specific dates but i assume that in uh, 2020 we should be seeing some smartphones with this diamond set uh, t1000 soc with 5g uh, what do you say capable uh, smartphones so anyways uh, what do you guys think about this mediatek diamond city 1000 uh, chipset uh, do let me know in the comment section below again guys i got all this information most of the information from the mediatek uh, uh, web page so i'll leave that uh, link in the description below so that you can check it out for more info anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys